Hi, welcome back to Wallflowers. It's going to be one of them talky ones again today. So, this Saturday in the UK, it's Armistice Day. What's Armistice Day? Armistice Day is where people gather at cenotaphs. They have a march and they gather at cenotaphs and they lay poppies down to remember everybody that has fallen in all of the wars all around the world. Um, people lay reeds at the cenotaphs at the end of it and people wear poppies and pay to the Royal British Legion for the poppies to help go to the people that have survived the wars and people that have suffered. So it happens every year on the 11th of November. But this year... Wait there, I think it's the 11th of November because World War Two was it, ended on the 11th of the 11th, at the 11th hour of the 11th minute. Yeah, we have a two minute silence on the 11th hour of the 11th minute, on the 11th of the 11th. But on the other hand, our governments do everything they can to prolong wars all over the world by sending arms and weapons to whoever they're favouring at the time, and yet they'll stand at the cenotaph laying reeds for people that have fallen. Now, if it was them that had to go to war to fight themselves, I'm sure they wouldn't be so quick to get involved in all these wars themselves. So, there's been a lot of marches lately the past couple of weeks, pro-Palestinian marches all around the world. And there's going to be a big one planned for Saturday in London. Now, our government don't want this march to go ahead because it falls on arms this day. And they're saying it's disrespectful. So, yesterday... Rishi Sunak came out and said he wanted the march banned and he asked the police commissioner, the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, to, to ban the march, which he turned around and said, well, he can't ban the march because they've had no intelligence to say that it's going to turn violent or anything like that, so the march will go ahead. Now, Rishi has backed down a little bit today and distanced himself a, a bit, but he said he will hold... The, Chief Commissioner responsible if any violence or if it does turn violence, he'll hold him responsible for it. So that was yesterday. So today, the Home Secretary came up, she done a, 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 an interview today with one of the leading papers. Yeah, she was calling for the march to be banned and saying that the police... Who was? Um, Suella uh, Braverman. Suella Braverman is our Home Secretary. And she's... She's called on the, uh, the Chief Commissioner to ban the march and said the police are quick enough to enable lefties to march, but they won't ban, but they, they'll, be, they'll ban the far right from marching. So she's saying lefties are getting away with marching, but the far, the far right can't march. Now, this is one of our government ministers saying this, being divisive and trying to cause a race war. So she she's calling the pro-Palestinian marches, she's calling them hate marches, even though they're being peaceful. There's been tens of thousands of people around the world marching in support of the pro-Palestinian people who were being slaughtered by carpet bombing by Israel. And it, it, it's the civilians that are suffering, not Hamas or any terrorist groups. So she's being divisive by saying that the far right can't march when the lefties can. So if you go back to Germany in the 30s, before the World War started, there was 
the divisive nature in the country of a race war between the Jews and the Nazis, where the Nazis kicked the Jews out. So by starting a race war in countries around the world, it's only going to lead to a bigger war in the end, a World War Three. But the politicians are doing everything they can to cause divisiveness between pro-Jewish groups, pro-Palestinian groups, pro-Ukrainian groups, anti-Russian. It's all around the world. We're, we're involved in wars, sending weapons into Syria, sending weapons into Ukraine, sending weapons to Israel. So it's only going to lead to a World War Three in time. And then in the coming months or the coming years, whether that'll be. Well, what she's actually stating about the right wing not marching isn't true because they're yeah, always marching. I mean, the right wing have marched. I think there's, the last time a march was banned, it was by the far right, but it's only been one march that has been banned. So far right groups will march and they can march. So that was just another lie, just another div divisive lie. And it turns out that uh, Suella Braverman has got close family in the Israeli army. So that's why she's not condemning Israel and that's why she's condemning the pro-Palestinian marches. Now, any interview or any government minister or leader that's being asked by the, the reporters, by the media, to call on Israel for a ceasefire they've all distanced themselves and said, oh no, that's not going to happen, that's not going to happen. We support Israel wholeheartedly. Not one person is speaking out and saying, we want a ceasefire. Same with Ukraine. Nobody's going over there trying to broker a peace deal with Russia to try and end it. They just want to prolong these wars so it turns into World War Three, because somebody somewhere is going to make some money out of it by grabbing the land, by grabbing the contracts, and, and that's all it is in the end. It's all about money. The wars create money. And when we're in, living in these desperate times where people haven't got any money, governments haven't got any money, that seems to be the only way out now to have a, a world war and have a reset and start again. So just keep your eye on it. And, We'll see what happens in the coming months or the coming years. Okay, thanks for joining us today. Can we just thank everybody for the GoFundMe as well? Oh, yes. Thanks, everybody, for all your contributions to the GoFundMe, for the underprivileged children, for the Christmas fund. It's been absolutely amazing. We're, we're, people, half, we're nearly halfway yeah, there, we're aren't halfway we? halfway there. Nearly. We're coming up to two weeks now. So we've got another four weeks to go. Or five weeks is it till Christmas? So we're doing really well, and thanks to everybody that supported us in that and keep supporting us. Okay, thanks for joining us. Don't worry too much. See you soon. Bye.